Almost a year and a half after he was murdered, a local family is getting some answers as to who may have pulled the trigger. 23-year-old Aaron Ray Smith was shot outside of a gas station on Westgate City Boulevard in Greensboro back in December of 2020. On Monday, Greensboro police arrested the man they believe shot him. Fox 8's Rashida Kavik sat down with the victim's family and has been looking into this case as well. Rashida, have police said how the two men are connected or how they cracked the case? Neil, they haven't been able to release any information regarding this and whether or not the two knew one another. But I did speak with Smith's family in a pretty emotional interview. They told me while Aaron was not a perfect person, he didn't deserve to lose his life. What pleasure did you get out of taking a 23-year-old child, you know, kid to me, his life? What? You took him from his sisters and his brothers, his nieces and nephews? And then his mom and his daddy, and he's gone forever. There is no bringing him back. The permanent pain of losing a son, brother, and uncle isn't any easier now that someone is behind bars for his murder. You want this to, to be the beginning of the ending, you know, toward justice. But until we get to court and, you know, they show us the evidence of why this might be the man, uh, what his motives were, you sh I'm, I'm still afraid to hope. Greensboro police arrested 41-year-old Radon Edgar Boswell Monday, charging him with first-degree murder of 23-year-old Aaron Smith of Greensboro. He done it on a corner of a major busy road at a light. The sun had just started going down and in the middle of a parking lot. Like, nobody was getting gas or anything. Smith died from a gunshot wound to the chest outside of this Exxon gas station on Westgate City Boulevard December 28, 2020. While his family doesn't know for sure what led up to or connected Boswell to his murder, they do tell me Aaron struggled with addiction. He is the type that will do someone wrong in a position to get that high, but no amount of money is worth hey, taking somebody's life because you're still not going to get that money back. This family is now left with only photos and this necklace with his ashes inside. They're choosing to remember the dependable big brother, loving son, and uncle who was excited to welcome in another niece. Constantly texting me, how, how, how is she, how is she? <laughs> So excited. For this mother who lost her youngest son, she wants families trying to help loved ones with addiction to know this. Don't give up. You know, it doesn't matter how hard they fight you, how frustrated you get, how many times they attempt it. Just don't give up on them because, you know, then one night you're in my position and he's gone and he never has a chance to get better ever again. And I did look up Rodon's uh, Boswell's suspect information to see if he had any priors. And he had a list dating back to 1997. Some of the most notable ones are first degree sexual offense, which he served time for and was found guilty, as well as second degree felony kidnapping, which he also served time for. As for this particular case, his next court date is May 3rd. He's being held in the Guilford County Jail without bond. Live tonight in Greensboro, Rashida Kaba, Fox 8 News.